Welcome to another weekly episode with me, Matt Peacock of Peacock Landscapes. Great to have you with me. Now this week, I am going to be showing you um, how to build one of these lovely benches that hugs your tree. Okay, so this is uh, not as hard as it looks. Uh, it's a lovely, simple design uh, that I'm going to walk you through. Okay, so the tools that you're going to need for this job saw like this, a chop saw, is really really helpful especially because we're going to be doing some angled cuts so you can get hold of one of these, your screwdriver and I've got two varieties of screws here that I'm using I've got some 4 inch screws and some 3 inch decking screws and that is all you will need okay so for our base and for our structure for this we're using 3 by 3 and we're going to make six, you can see I've already made them, six structures to hold the decking boards that are going to sit on them. The way we've made these is 42.5 centimetres high, 48 centimetres across. Two screws, one here, one here, one here and one here. So four screws in total and this is a very nice sturdy structure all it's going to sit on. Okay, so we're going to start cutting our decking boards now. So, with the chop saw, I've angled it at 30 degrees. I'm going to do all my cuts at 30 degrees. So I've started off with the shortest edge, and I'm measuring the shortest edge at 60 centimetres. So I've cut five of these, and that's going to be my first inner line of decking boards. Do not cut the sixth one, because you're going to want to measure that precisely, uh, just because often what will happen, you might be a few mil out, you want to make this nice and snug cut that you can make possible. So cut five, and then we're going to go on to the second. Okay, so as you can see, I've now put the basic structure together. So I've done that by using my six pieces of decking boards cut at 30 degree angles uh, and fixed them to my structures. Now I've done the first round, and now I'm going to do the second. Now the important thing is to get your measurements right. As I always used to say, um, measure twice, cut once, measure three times, cut once, probably even better. And so, the way to do that, the most accurate line, I use my, my, uh, my saw. I want to get the same linear line coming down here. So I mark it off here. Bring it to the center here. And draw my line. Once I've done that, do it on each one, and then as you go around, measure the inside between the two. Take your measurement, and then cut that at the same 30 degree angles on your chop saw. Right. So all three lines of the decking have been put in, and I'm on to my final cut now. Uh, now what you'll probably find is that your final cut is going to be different. So the way that you're going to want to do that is, that's where that i found, place the board on top of the joint, coming over just to give it a bit of a lip, come underneath and simply draw your line underneath the board. Do that on both ends and you'll get a nice snug fit. And if you want to be extra sure, just measure the distance between it by hand and just double check it against it. Once you've done that, you can add the last bit of the jigsaw and you will have your finished bench around the tree. So here we have it. Two new benches around these trees, uh, made out of deck of wood and 3 by 3s I hope this has been really useful. If you've got any questions about how to make this, please do give me an email at matt at peapotlandscapes.co.uk Love it if you uh, share this video, like it on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, share it with all your friends on social media. Send it to your favorite auntie uh, or uncle to make it for your auntie. And uh, hey, I'll see you next time on the next video. I hope this has been helpful. Check us out, www.peacotlandscapes.co.uk. Bye-bye.